Welcome to Nate's Care Garage. Today we turn a pickup truck into a car with a great big trunk. Sweet, huh? Stand by. I picked this thing up the other day. It had been sitting in a yard on its edge and it's all dirty and nasty and rusty in a bunch of spots and the frame's kind of bent. The first thing I had to get this thing off the truck, and then we'll get to working on it. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. All right, I got it off the truck. Now, first thing I'm going to do is clean the darn thing up and get the pressure washer going. I'm going to take all this garbage off here. Because I got brand new foam to go on it, so it'll seal up really nice. And we're we'll gonna straighten it out and all that sort of thing. This stuff here's coming off before I even clean it because I got new backing for this as well. All right, here we go pressure washer. camera cut out but put a little crud get rolling here it's nothing but a soap like any other soap now we'll see what it'll actually come off Phillips screws and it looks like I might be able to take all these parts off. Be awesome. Take all this stuff here and put it in evapo rust. Get rid of all this rust that's on them. Clean everything up, make it look nice. I'll be back out in a minute to start straightening some of these parts. One of the things I want to tend to is this bar. It is bent. It is quite bent. Now, once I put it down and screw it down, it should be fine. But I do want it a little bit straighter than it was. Uh, that's a little straighter than it was. I believe the best way to do this is to get rid of that and put that one in. So, let's just lift this up here. Gotcha. That looks straight now. Probably a little tight. There we go. Perfect. The new lift struts came with new hardware as well. And I'd like to use the new hardware, but there. I can only use them on this side. The other side, the bolts are just too big to put the lift connector back where it needs to go. So we're going to put this one on this side anyway. Uh, 
not perfect but it'll work sure will thing here is lines everything up it's well bent over there and bring this back gently it's only aluminum so it's not that hard to do it should be probably I'm thinking about there the other one's a little further out but we'll see after everything's on so this is a dent and that frame's gonna go over like this and it's gonna leak like a sieve. I wanna fix it anyway. If y'all have ever seen one of these things here, that's a tool that does one thing. It welds these little brads onto a dent and so you can pull them out with a slide hammer. Well, it's like $100, $200 and that's a cheap one. Um, if you're a body man, maybe it's a good deal, but it's the only thing it does. That's the one and only thing it does. So I just had to see buying it since I have a welder. And I thought if I cut the tips off of a bunch of nails so they're flat, why can't I use my regular welder? Weld these on, pull it up, cut them off, just like you do with that Brad machine. Will it work? I don't know. We're going to find out right now. I already ground it up. Um, about the best I can get a hold of a. I mean, I see another spot I can probably get a good ground on down here to keep this thing out of my freaking way. Maybe. I think. We'll do it right there. I guess. I don't know. Yep, I guess so. There's that. We don't need that. There's my nails. There's a glove because it's going to get hot. And my mask. My helmet here. Welding helmet. Nice doing welding up top where I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. The nails all over the ground. Okay, let's see if this works like I want to now. Come to the outside. That dang it. Get rid of my other nails here, they're just going everywhere. Now, put this here. It's working, but that one popped off. Might not have welded it on well enough. And since I'm, they're not welded all the way around like that one, <laughs> yeah. I think I need to weld it on two spots. But it is working. I already see that dent becoming less without drilling holes in the damn thing to pull it. Now, if I made my living as a body man, I can see where that thing would be worth it. But I don't. I'll use this every now in a great while. I'm going to do this kind of thing. Okay, so I went a little wild here. Um, yep. I was only going to fix this right here and weld it all up and then just put some paint over it. Now well, I fixed it. And after it was fixed, I decided, well, let's uh, weld up all these other holes. We welded up that hole, we welded up that hole so we could drill brand new holes and make this match. So then I got a little putty and I was only going to put a little putty on here. I was only going to fix this. That's it. Yep, I was going to fix that. But then I said, well, you know what? I can put some over where these holes were. And they weren't exactly right because they were dented. And 
so I put some on, I sanded it down, I put some more on and sand it down. Next thing you know, it's not a perfect body job at all. But at least it's flat. I'll do the other one tomorrow. I'm going to sand it, the rail down. I'm just going to paint it black just to seal up all the rust and everything. But yeah, I kind of lost my mind here. But <laughs> uh, at least it's flat. We're on day two. Um, I got a little carried away. So, if you remember this dent right here, well, it's not here anymore. I had to fix it. And you saw me fix it, but then I put a little stuff on it, and then I put some filler in it. Next thing you know, I'm welding up all the holes and repairing the rails. It's not a perfect job. I didn't expect to be a perfect job. At no means, but at least we got nice flat rails here to work. It would seem that I got rain coming in now, which says I got this done just in time. I actually got runs in this one. I was being fast, so am I going to pass them out? Who knows, but that's what we got. Now we can move on. Oh, that's still there. Here's the parts. All out of the rust thingy, my bob, and they're all clean. It's definitely drippy dropping on me. I gotta clean this stuff off of here. Okay, I'm hoping this stuff will only stick you on one side. You're getting worried there for a minute. Yep. All right. Peel that back. Right up to the edge here. We'll put it to the outside. It's not as wide as the other. I don't think it's a big deal. But I'm putting it to the outside. That way it'll be over the holes. My brother helped me get it up on the truck. Unfortunately, I didn't have video on. So it's on the truck, okay? And it's okay, it's here, it's on the truck. It's not lined up yet, but it's on the truck. Remember, I was on the other side. My brother, yep, was on this side. So almost for my perfect paint job here. It wasn't perfect by no means, but God damn it. It's starting to rain again. And the camera's sitting out here in the rain. Maybe I can bring my tent over here and hopefully it'll still get a good shot of me with this get my camera out of the rain. What I noticed when I put all the bolts in the holes, the original holes that were drilled in here, was that this didn't come down over here, which is not coming down over here right now, um, correctly. So I went and closed up all the holes, took the welder, weld, weld them all shut so that I can, build, I'll drill brand new holes. But the first thing I want to do is line this up so that it fits exactly right. I think it looks pretty good as far as how far back it goes. Might could come back a little more. Maybe weather stripping too is going to be on here, but the gate's not shut all the way either there all right I'm thinking that's about right I don't see if I can lift it without moving the frame ah, dang it this one's coming up with it Get a little aggravated over this thing. I don't care what the manufacturer says. Don't use self-tapping screws. They don't ah. work. They drill a hole far too big for it to actually grab and pull down. 
we got a hole here and a very large bolt. I'm going to put this sucker in here. See if I can draw this down because it's not drawn down on the back. And I just pull it down just far enough. Let me get another one right. No, I'm not. Damn it! Fine. Get in the hole. <sighs> Damn it. Call it for now. We got it set. Lift it up. Got the shocks on it. It doesn't bow anywhere where you lift it up. I think it needs another screw up in that corner. I'm not gonna do it today, maybe tomorrow. And there's a couple other screws still need. We'll finish it up later. Draining. down there we go just like that I'll stand on the tent now the reason I couldn't put the tent over the truck when I was putting all those bolts in is because I had to lift that lid up so high it would be higher than the um, the tent or what do you call it a canopy so I had to work out there in the rain now here's the reality of it okay don't let this stuff scare you Sometimes you are going to get aggravated. Most of the time you're going to have fun doing this stuff. Sometimes you're going to get aggravated, and that's what happened. Uh, you can still do this stuff. Just work with it. Um, I really got aggravated there because I'm in the rain. Nothing was working. I had to go off to the store again. I got the screws I need. Everything will be fine now, but I'm not done with it. Well, I finally got it on. Fixed the paint-ish. One day I'll sand it all down and completely redo it again. But meanwhile, this is how it's on. Now, the next step is we've got to clean this thing. So I'm going to clean the top, the bottom rather. And now we got to clean the top. I was able to add a couple of bolts up here and pull this side down some, but it still seems like it's up a long ways. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Don't know what's going to happen until I get the... Uh, weather stripping on that goes along here. But we'll clean this before I put the weather stripping on it. That's all cleaned up and polished up. Finally, we get to this. The weather stripping. That goes all the way around the thing. <laughs> all right. Wrong end. Of 
Pretty sure this is long enough. I hope it is. It's fine across the back, it seals up, but it doesn't seal up here. Had a feeling it wouldn't. The trick is, you can't get the exact one that's on it. But, I'll fix it with this. I sure as heck will. Yep. The reason I had that extra stuff is because this is what I had and this is what I got. The problem was I couldn't find this. This goes up on it like that and this comes off the bottom of it. So what I got wasn't exactly like this. You can see it better here. See, yeah, this goes up here and this comes off the side. So I got what I could get and okay turn around here there you go you see how it's over underneath of it I couldn't find this so this is what I got it's very similar but it see this doesn't actually go down underneath of it so I figured if I got that little piece which I did I could put it on the bottom and that would make up for it I think that if I got the one that has just the round piece off the bottom it might work better but I wasn't sure so I got this so that's basically the deal that's why I got that that seemed to work out okay is it perfect nope look good I got no complaints. The back part here is fine. It actually seals up because it comes over the tailgate there. And then we get back over here and we put, and we go back to the extra, which is along here. Now it's glued down and we're in good shape. Beautiful. Flip the lever. And there you have it. I'm not even going to tell you this was a piece of cake. <laughs> if it was new and not bent, probably would be fine. And I actually need to fix the front rail on the truck. It's bent also. That's why the other side doesn't seal up well. But all in all, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Open it. Lit up. Nothing gets wet inside and they can put stuff in here. And when this is shut, you can't open the tailgate either. So everything's locked up. It works nice. Yep. You have to push it down a little bit, but that's because of the rubber seals, which is okay with me. There we go. She ain't going nowhere. Took me three days to do this mess, but it's done. See ya.